laps. Pedro Gris also doing well in fact riding uh, Conrad de Hoos. We've had a change of rise. Steve well one classes in Antwerp this season. Won the uh, La Coruña Grand Prix back in uh, December in Spain. Big five star Grand Prix there. And if you look down the list of horses that he's produced over the years, Lantinas I mentioned earlier on with Dennis Lynch over the years, he's been the man behind a lot of those top rides. He's a great producer, isn't he? Yeah. And he's, uh, he's not averse to pulling the trigger when he gets the an offer made he can't refuse. And then bounces back with another one. Absolutely. Rather like I said earlier on with Pierre Schwitzer. Pierre Schwitzer. Tall rider, as you can see, rides very light though. It's a lovely soft way of letting them travel. Oh, hang oh, on! Oh, hello! That's We've lost the tack. That is difficult. Now, will he get home with that? Gone missing. Oh, that's flapping in his eyes. That will be it's gone. a work of art yes. to get that away. <laughs> that gets a great round of applause from the crowd because that was a cool for Sonny for it. And he's literally got the bit in there. There it's gone. I've never seen that happen before, <laughs> I don't think. For a horse to lose a bridle halfway round and jump the last fence, the last three fences, yeah. home, without panicking and with that flapping in his eyes, that was a superb performance from Gregory Wanderlei. And you can see just...